Okay, so this generator came to me for a service and a new pull cord. Pull cord was, the handle had, had broken, the handle was off. This is a champion, what is this, a 1300 inverter. Now uh, where's the... Uh, anyway. Yeah, 31, 30, sorry, 3100 inverter. And uh, anyways, this is what it does when you were fired up. So I came to me for a service and an oil change and then to fix the pull cord. After the service was done, when we went to fire it up, this is what it was doing. Hardly runs. Choke doesn't make a difference. Okay, and it just shuts off. So, uh, I don't know, all the searching I did on the forums and stuff, nobody actually dealt with this specific problem. So after I went through, it's got an electric controlled carburetor. There's a, a little stepper motor on the carb that'll adjust it and the governor and whatnot. Uh, I took the carb off, cleaned it, took the, the spark plug, changed the oil, of course, because that's why I had it as part of it was to service it. And then I called the 1-800 number up there to Champion Power Equipment and they actually have good, good support service. So the next thing that we're going to do to diagnose it is unhook this as the control unit, this board. So I'm going to take these two little, I think those are 8 mil bolts out. Take that out, unplug everything and, and try and see what happens when I disconnect the control board. Alright, here's the control unit unplugged. Everything except for whatever that is, rectifier or something there. All the other plugins are unplugged. It's just an easy way to diagnose the control unit. So I got a new one put in the box here. I got the generator given to me for the labor that I spent trying to tune it up. The person, the owner, didn't want to bother fixing it, so I decided that it was worth a couple hundred bucks, 300 bucks Canadian. What I, the only thing I found is these wires here were rubbing against this coil here, and it shorted. They they were bare, so I don't know if that shorted out and wrecked the control unit or not. There's no core or anything. You don't. I guess they don't fix these control units. You just replace them. So I've got a new one here. Slap that in, and hopefully this thing will be charging. Okay, I got the new one plugged in. So just zip tie your wires back because they do contact. And keep an eye on these two. That one's power ground. Those two connectors can interchange, so mark them before you take them off. Let's take a look. And let's try it out. Okay, so had the saws all working in it and everything's working now, so that's a good score. A nice quiet little generator that I'll be able to use for a backup here. So hope that helps somebody. I didn't find anything on the forums talking about that particular problem, but it's an easy one to diagnose anyways.